All right, so the Sony a7R came out in 2013. That's nine years ago. And I just purchased one. Sony a7R. So every time you take a photo, you just have to Oh, she's off. I know there's so many videos where you're like on the verge of buying a camera and you're like, I just need to see that one video that was, you know, that one video and that one thing that'll tell me to buy it. So the number one reason for me is that it's extremely lightweight. It's such a small camera. And you know, the ergonomics of the Sony a7 IV, a7 III is just much bulkier. And this camera is so light. Look how small it is. It's so light. Feels like a toy. That's number one. Number two. So my main camera is a Sony a7 IV, and that shoots photos at 33 megapixels. The iPhone 13, the average iPhone, the average phone, have a 12 megapixel sensor. The Sony a7R has a 36 megapixel sensor. So this is a photography camera. video capabilities aren't that great. This you can find anywhere like an eBay, Amazon, roughly five to $700, which is a quarter of the price of the Sony a7 IV. If you're just trying to dip your toes into the water, this is a great camera to have. And honestly, like once you get the hang of it, once you know what you're doing and once you're able to fix photos, any camera is worth it. And you can take great photos with just about anything. Let's talk about the cons. The first con that I can mention is that the battery life is crap, which is why I bought the battery pack at roughly like $100, $120. And I do think it's necessary if you do plan on shooting with it. All I really have to compare is like the Sony ZV E10 and the Sony A7 IV, which, is, which are cameras that I've been using. And this battery life compared to theirs it's just absolute crap. The second con, second biggest con, is that there's absolutely no silent shooting. So every time you take a photo, and yes, that doesn't sound like it's a huge problem, but if you're a sports photographer, a wedding photographer, there are just some times that you need that silent shooting. And apart from that, this particular shutter is just much louder than others. Like, just hear how loud it is. And the last con is that the uh, autofocus, you know, even though Sony now, even though Sony now is known for its amazing. Why is this dog thing moaning like that? So although Sony is now known for its amazing face detection, eye detection, autofocusing system, uh, the Sony A7R is just not quite there. So there is a lot of manual focus and it's not exactly easy to focus. There isn't exactly a focusing grid that adjusts to where you want it to be. It's kind of just like a fixed auto like focus area that you have to choose beforehand. And it can be pretty annoying, but the buttons are pretty convenient so you can change them. It's like relatively convenient. But for nowadays, with the cameras that are available now, it's pretty inconvenient. Once again, I know the limits of a 2013 camera. I know, I'm just saying. All right, so do I recommend this camera? If you're looking for a very first photography camera, if you're just trying to dip your toes into the photography world and you don't really care too much about video, then yes, I highly recommend it, especially at a quarter of the price of the cameras that are out now, absolutely. Um, but if you know what you're doing, if you're looking for a sophisticated camera, something like a one and done all, and especially one that has like a flip out screen that does a full rotation, this is probably not the camera for you. Yeah, so this is the Sony a7R and I'm shooting with the Sigma 24 to 70 f 2.8. She is a girthy, girthy lens and it's kind of working on my forearms, but 
that's what I'm here for. All right, well, I've made my way to Times Square and um, definitely look like a tourist right now, especially with this huge ass camera, but um, God, I hate it here. There's so many people, so many actual tourists. All right, well, my camera died. I've been shooting for like an hour, 15 minutes and finally died. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not sure if you can really hear me, but uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stay beautiful. Peace. Bye-bye.